Hello students, welcome back. So now we are going to discuss about the methods of preparation of alkyl halides. So how these alkyl halides are formed from other compounds. So let's discuss about it. Yeah. So before we see the uh, classification and, and as well as IUPAC nomenclature, now we will see the preparation of alkyl halides. So in how many ways alkyl halides can be prepared. So here I am showing some of the ways. One is from alkanes, another is from alkenes and from alcohols also you can prepare alkyl halides and this uh, there are two named reactions which are very very important regarding this alkyl halides that is one is Finkelstein reaction which is also known as halide exchange reaction which is a preparation method of alkyl halides and other is from silver salt of carboxylic acids. So this re reaction is known as borodin hunts dichro reaction. So these are the five methods of preparation and out of which these two are the named reactions which are important. So let's see how we can prepare from alkanes first. So from alkanes, so alkanes they react with halogens in the presence of light, in the presence of light to give halides. So the reaction is, so this is the alkane which is reacting with chlorine in presence of light. So here for this, this reaction to take place, light is required. So in presence of light, it gives alkyl halide along with HCl. Yeah, this is the reaction. If I take methane, I am getting methyl chloride. So but the reaction of uh, the reaction between methane and chlorine in presence of sunlight, so uh, we will get the alkyl halides. So alkyl halides further react with halogens to give di, tri and tetrahalogen compounds. So if I take this chlorine in excess quantity, if I take this chlorine in excess quantity then what happens is because uh, the methane will react with some of chlorine and it will produce this one and this will again react with the remaining chlorine because I am taking chlorine in excess quantity. So this more than amount of more than sufficient amount of chlorine is left out in the container. So this methyl chloride will again react with the chlorine and it will produce CH2, Cl2. If, if, at, if more amount of chlorine is available in the, in the reaction mixture, then this will further react with chlorine and it will produce CHCl3 which, which again may produce CClO4 depending upon the amount of chlorine that we are taking. So if I take chlorine in excess quantity, I will get di, tri and tetrahalogen compounds. So yeah, the reaction between the methane and chlorine, so I won't, I, if I take chlorine in excess quantity, so I will get these four products. So I am not getting one, one product essentially, but I am getting a mixture of the products. This is monohalogen derivative and this is trihalogen derivative. And this is in which the four chlor chlorines are present. So the substitution of hydrogen atom in halides follows the order. So tertiary hydrogen, the secondary hydrogen and then primary hydrogen. So this is the substitution, the order of preference. So like if if I here, this is the simple compound, but if I take this one, CH3, CH2, CH3, all hydrogens are not attached to the same kind of carbon. This is These two are primary carbons, but this is secondary carbon. So this reaction is actually free radical halogenation, free radical reaction. So there is a formation of free radical. So if this hydrogen lost, that is in the middle, by homolytic fission, you will get secondary you will get secondary free radical which is more stable as compared to primary and tertiary is even more stable as compared to secondary. So tertiary hydrogen is going to be replaced first and then secondary and then last primary. Okay? So I will get tertiary as the major product and the primary as the, the least product. Okay? So, so here I am getting the four products, the mixture of products. So if I want to get only the methyl chloride in excess amount, I, I only want to prepare, I don't want a mixture. I only want this methyl chloride in excess quantity. I want only this product in predominant amount. So what I can do? So instead of take, taking chlorine in excess, take methane in excess. So if you take methane in excess, so you will know, majorly get this product. You won't get other products because chlorine is not in excess quantity. To give all other products as well. Okay, so this is from alkanes. So let's see how we can prepare alkyl halides from alkenes. 